Sometimes outstanding relief pitchers can come from unexpected places. For instance, Chad Green was acquired along with Luis Sessa for Justin Wilson a few years back, and Chad Green has gone on to become one of the best relief pitchers in baseball. Raleigh Fingers, Juan Franco, even Mariano Rivera, these guys were all failed starting pitchers in the big leagues. In fact, in 1995, the Yankees lost in the division series to the Seattle Mariners, partially because they had a lack of bullpen depth and had to go to Jack McDowell in Game 5, but Mariano Rivera actually emerged as a force in the bullpen in that series. Now, I'm not comparing Nick Nelson to Mariano Rivera by any stretch of the imagination, but just shedding some light on the fact that they both had very similar routes to the big leagues. They both were starters in the minor leagues, emerged out of the bullpen during their rookie season, and ended up pitching out of the bullpen in the playoffs. They both also had one extraordinary pitch. For Mariano Rivera, it was the cutter, and for Nick Nelson, it appears to be the changeup, which combined with a 98-mile-an-hour fastball can be a deadly deadly pitch. Tommy Canely is an example of a guy who mixes that high octane fastball with that really good changeup to be extra effective out of the pen. Obviously, he had the Tommy John injury and he was actually replaced in the bullpen by Nick Nelson. Nick Nelson made his spring debut a couple of days ago, pitched two scoreless innings, looked really good. The Yankees are very high on this kid. He actually made his major league debut in 2020 against Boston and immediately showcased special stuff. During his brief stint in the majors, he pitched 20 and two-thirds innings, struck out 18, walked 11, that's too many, surrendered four home runs, also too many. So those numbers don't jump off the page, but once he gets the command to where it needs to be, he's got three legitimate strikeout pitches that he can use out of the pen. He's got a fastball that can reach 98 miles an hour. He's got the aforementioned Bugs Bunny changeup at 89 or 90 miles an hour that just dives off the table. And he's got a breaking ball that appears to me to have been created in a lab by scientists. There is no guarantee that he's going to be dominant or even really good. Control is the most important thing for any pitcher. But he's got the stuff. You cannot teach the stuff. You can teach command. If he learns to harness that fastball and spot it where he wants it to be, that changeup and that breaking ball will play. It's interesting to note that Nick Nelson pitched two innings in his debut when guys like Jamison Tyone and Garrett Cole pitched just one. Nick Nelson appears to be being stretched out, perhaps as a multi-inning reliever, perhaps even to compete for the number five starter job. But he's got the stuff to be a lights-out relief pitcher, and I think he's going to end up eventually in the big leagues as a setup man. I think he's got that kind of stuff. He just needs to work on his control. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It helps other Yankees fans find the channel. 